Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, check this out. That's the temperature outside right now, and that's why I'm indoors right now. What is that temperature in Fahrenheit? It's this. That translates to freaking cold. Okay, so since I'm indoors, I'm gonna do a video on FPV because everybody keeps asking, why are you not doing more FPV videos? FPV is a hobby, first person view, you wear goggles, you fly a drone around. Well, it's not because I stopped doing them, it's because I had so many camera drones to review that I put all the camera drone stuff out, and now I'm jumping back Back into FPV for a short while to show you some cool things. So the company Beta FPV, these guys right here, Beta FPV, they sent me a pile of FPV products about ooh, two months ago and uh, I do like Beta FPV, I just haven't had time to review their products so I'm going to show them all at once right now in this video and it's pretty cool because Beta FPV, if you're not familiar with Beta FPV, this is a company that makes FPV products for beginners and pros but the cool thing is on the beginner side and the pro side everything's inexpensive. I think they have like the lowest prices for almost everything. So in this video, it's all about beta FPV and I have this bag and they filled it with items. I'm, I don't have everything in it, but I'm gonna put everything in it as I keep showing you stuff. Over here, as I show you an item, I'm gonna put the price up there and you'll see how inexpensive everything is to get into the FPV drone hobby. All right, let's reach in and grab out our first item. What is it? It's a little drone. Well, actually it's a case, but in the case is the Meteor 65 Pro. So here's the deal. Pay attention everyone because I get asked this question way too many times on YouTube. The question I get asked is, hey, it's winter time. I see you flying FPV drones. You know, I got the goggles on, I'm flying around outside or in my house and everybody wants to buy a drone to fly around in their house. And most people make the mistake of buying something too fast, too big, and they just smash up the walls and they can't fly it around in their house because it takes practice to fly FPV. I always recommend a 1S Whoop. That is the best drone to learn on and to fly in a house. So if you just want to buy a drone by itself that's super inexpensive, this is a really good one. The reason it's a really good one is not only because it's 1S, 1S is the battery, but everything you get in the kit is really good. So you get like a battery charger, a battery tester, you get the USB cables, you get spare props, you get two batteries, you get the drone, you get some documentation. You get a lot of really good stuff. And this little guy has a camera on the front that you wear goggles and fly around. Now you're going, hey, I don't have goggles. Well, Beta FP has you covered because you can get these goggles. These are the VR002. I think they might be up to VR003. I'm not sure if they are. I'll put a link below. But anyways, there's the price of the goggles. Super cheap. And inside you can see what they look like. Hey, just wrap them around your head, power them on and go flying. Now the two really good things about this drone is A, this little antenna on the back that sends out your video transmission signal. People call it a VTX. It shoots out at 350 milliwatts. So that means if you have like a three-story house, four-story house, you could probably fly it from the bottom floor to the top floor while you're sitting on one floor and going through the walls and everything else. It's very powerful. If you fly it outdoors, it means you can go a fair distance, at least three football fields in length. It's pretty good for that. The second thing about it, it is ELRS. ELRS is the new communication standard for drones. And mostly it comes out for the small drones because it weighs next to nothing. It's a tiny, tiny little receiver chip that sits in the drone. So it's already in this one. And it means that whatever radio you're using to communicate with this guy has to send out an ELRS transmission mission signal to talk to the ELRS receiver. So Beta FPV's got you covered there too. So for somebody like me, I have this radio called the Jumper T-Light. I've had it for a long time, ever since it came on the market. It is slowly being discontinued, so you can get it at a steal of a deal, and I'll put the current price of it up there. So if you buy this radio, it's really good because it's a four-in-one module. That means nothing to you if you're a beginner. All it means is that you can probably connect this to an awful lot of different drones on the market today, probably about 70% of them. FPV drones that is not the camera drones you know like dji and autel no no this is in the fpv hobby but this is where beta fpv shines on the back there's a little module so i'm going to pull that off and this is what you get from beta fpv it's an elrs transmitter to talk to this so it just sits on the back and how much does this cost there's the price up there next to nothing. So to show you how cool this is and this little module, let me just connect them together really fast and show you. Slide this on the back 
and we just power on our little radio. It's going to speak to me and probably complain because I don't have the switches all pushed down, which I'm going to do in a second. To I'm pushing most of them. There we go. Switch warning. Nope, that didn't give me it. All right, so we're ready to go. I just take my little battery here, a connector, and I'm going to plug it in. This is all included. It comes to life. It makes some sounds. It's turning green in color on portions of it, and it will fly right here. I'll show you, I'll just get it. Oh, you can't see it in the picture. Let me get it so you see it in the camera. There we are. So we'll put it in angle mode. Angle mode. And we'll arm it. Arm motors. There we go. And uh, I'll fly it right here. It's, look at how close it is to my head. I can shave my mustache or eyebrows. But anyways, I'm not worried because it's a great drone for flying indoors. It's a whoop, here we go. There we are, baby. Look at this thing. I can just bring it around here. Like, okay, so let me say this. I'm a pro, I've been flying FPV for years and years, but this, my, you know, this is so simple to fly. And this is what you need to get if you wanna fly indoors and put your little FPV goggles on. And I'm gonna stop talking and I'm, I'm gonna show you this. Oh, caught it, there we go, as I smashed into the microphone. The price and the link to all this stuff is, well, I already showed it. So let's go on to the next thing that's in the bag. Next item in my magic bag would be this. Ha ha, what is that? That is a radio. So say you didn't have the last radio I showed and you didn't buy the module. You said, why can't I buy it all together? This is it. It's called the Light, Ra the Light Radio 3. Do I have that upside down? No, there it is, Light Radio 3. So inside it looks like this. There you go, it looks like that. Now the cool thing with this Light Radio 3 is it comes in two formats. So you have to know ahead of time what radio you want for the drone you buy. If you wanna stay in the ELRS communication hobby, like the first drone I was flying, that little one, then you need the ELRS radio. If you wanna stay in the other hobby, which is the standard hobby, where you can connect to like FR Sky and all these other receivers that are on the market, been around for like 20 years, then you need the other, where is it? There is it, <laughs> then you need the other one. See, I have two of them. They sent me two to show you that there's actually two different radios. They look identical. The only thing different is what's inside. So this one here, I know for a fact, is FR Sky compatible and Futaba and a few other things. And this one is the ELRS Hobby. So I could take this radio, if I pull it out, I could take this radio and I could hook it up to that little drone I was flying, that little indoor meteor drone that I was flying earlier, and it'd be perfectly fine. So in your package, you get a set of instructions, you get the, this, you get the joystick protectors made out of rubber. On the back, which is really cool, is that, you know that module that I was talking about? So say, let me explain this really quick. Say you bought this radio, and this radio is the radio that is not for ELRS. It's for everything other than ELRS, because you didn't want to buy the ELRS one. Anyways, you're gonna see where I'm going with this. You can then buy this tiny little module that I showed in the first portion of the video, slide off the back like that, and you take the module and you stick it on the rear, like, well, I, so, there we go, I got it on. There you go. So now this radio turns into ELRS. So you have the best of both worlds. This is like the standard communication plus the ELRS. That is pretty incredible. So the buttons on here, they've made it for beginners. So there are three way switches on top on either sides. So you got click, click for center and click for down. But what's really cool for the FPV hobby is the two bottom switches are latch switches. So when you push them in, they stay in. And when you push them in again, they just pop out. So it's on or off. And it's very easy to bind this to a drone. Actually, I bound it to a drone just seconds before I made this video portion that you're seeing. Now I'm just putting this one away. And uh, where's the drone? Here, so I bound it to this drone. So this drone, what is this called? This is an old drone I have. This is called by Beta FPV. It's called the Beta 65X. You can put a micro SD card in it to film and everything else with the camera. I've had this for a long time and I've smashed the heck out of it. That's why it's a little banged up. It takes two batteries. I'm going to show you the difference between a 1S version and a 2S version. So for me sitting here, I'm going to hover it with this radio. Try it. Uh, it might get a little wild, but let's give it a shot. All right, so first things first, take our left joystick, push it all the way down, hold the power button in. It will turn a color. It should turn red and then go blue and play me some music to put me to sleep. Now this drone, you can't buy it anymore because uh, they only make drones for about a year and that's it. There we go. I have to warn you, I have smashed the heck out of this thing and I broke the prop guards on all the motors uh, from years and years of use and abuse. So uh, it buzzes, the props buzz against the, the prop guard. So you're gonna hear this buzzing sound. Listen, uh, here's the latch switch. 
There you go. That's not bad though. At least it's still gonna work. It's just lightly touching on there, but it's kind of annoying. But I'm gonna show you now with this controller, I'm flying it. There's my on off switch. See, off, on. So it's really good. So let's turn it on and let's bring it up and try not to whack me in the face. There we go. This is a 2S, so it's got a lot of power if I want to give it a lot of power. But there you go. Woohoo, baby! And with the last switch, let's see if I can do it. Catch, catch, catch. I have such butter fingers. All right, so that's it. So this radio is how much you're asking? It's that much. It's not very much. And you can get it once again in two versions. And one last thing to tell you, this is so inexpensive that if you buy it and you don't even have a drone, but you just want to use it with your flight sims, you can because you just put your USB cable down in here and then into your PC or your Mac and it automatically recognizes this as an external joystick device. And you can fly flight sims and have a blast learning how to fly and then finally get yourself a drone and check this out there's one more thing for this light radio 3 and that is you can get a case so this is so popular that beta fpv said you know what people are going to buy a lot of these because they don't cost a lot but they do an awful lot that will make a case for it so they made a case they sent me the case too so i could show you so you have this case hand carry it does look like a handbag uh what inside it let's get rid of all this i'll show you this in a second your little controller fits in there and I think if you take if you bought the ELRS little module so you had the normal standard edition the ELRS thing will fit down there and it looks like that and then you close everything and you're all set to go and you do have a little spot at the top to put other odds and ends you know batteries and things like that they sent me these two neck straps but they're made for this so one says light radio on it and let me open it there you go so you can have a neck strap that says light radio you put it to the right size around your neck and then you hook it into this little device up front right here and then it hangs off your neck as you're flying so that your hands free to do other stuff one more that they gave me to show you and this one's very colorful and this just says beta fpv light radio express lrs so let me give you some prices then for the neck strap too if i haven't given you that so this neck strap here it costs that much this neck strap here costs that much. This carry case costs that much. So you see everything in the hobby is rather inexpensive. So what else is in my little bag? Oh, check this out. I have two more items here. These are the Beta FPV Micro transmitters. So what the heck am I talking about? So let me explain that. Remember this guy I showed earlier in the video and I said you put this on the back of your radio so that it can talk to a drone that has an ELRS communication system. So in the FPV hobby we take our radios, I have so many radios over here, we take our radios and we put modules on the back because if we bought the radio and it came with a certain communication system in it that could only talk to certain types of drones or receivers and we wanted it to talk to something you know else that's new on the hobby then we put a module on the back see back here there's a module stuck there and i have an antenna sticking up there so for this radio i have put a crossfire module on it so that means it will talk to any type of receiver that's a crossfire receiver and that's different from what this radio is able to talk to but when i put the module on the back now it can do everything the radio can do plus that and that's what I was showing with this little item here, which is called a nano transmitter. And it's made by Beta FPV and it goes on the back of anything with the little nano connector back here. So Beta FPV said, hey, we left out the people who want the micro connectors. So this is a nano connector and there's also a micro connector. So on the back here, my crossfire module is micro. So they made these. So once again, just like this guy, you have two different types of connectors and they're for the ELRS communication system. So these are transmitters. They send out the signal. So if you bought a drone, you know, some drone and it has ELRS receiver in it, then these will work. In the world of ELRS, they went and split up the frequencies by three. So on the box, I have to read them. You have 2.4 gigahertz. That's the most common. So if you have to buy one, get 2.4. Then you have 915 megahertz. And that's the second most common. Then you have one I've never used, 868 megahertz. Never used that one. Anyways, so I have two of them here. I've got the 2.4 and the 915. And the only difference between the two is obviously the different frequency, the bandwidth that they're shooting out at. The 915 is for 
longer range than the 2.4. However, I've never tested it, but everybody who's tested the two says there's no real difference between the two, so you might as well stick with 2.4. So inside the box, you get <laughs> stuff flying out. So you get the transmitter, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna show it to you. You get an antenna. I have two radios almost identical. So on this gold radio, I have a crossfire module in the back. And on this black radio, I have the beta FPV micro EL rs 2.4 gigahertz module on the back so now this radio sends out all the standard communication i can connect it to pretty much 90 percent of the fpv drones on the market and if i need to go crossfire well then i take this one here and i have a little crossfire thingy back there but i don't use crossfire too much even though it's really good so let me show you this module really quickly it's very simple it's designed for beginners so it takes power off your radio and runs. But if you don't have it connected to your radio and you just want to do a demo like I'm doing right here, you just plug it into a 2S battery. There, I did it. And you can see on the bottom, we have a display. You see it down there? So it comes to life. Now I'll show you some close-up video as I'm talking about this. So on the front, I plugged in this battery to an XT30 connector in the front and it takes to a maximum of a 2S battery. You can put a 1S or a 2S. You do not have to plug a battery into it. The only time you plug a battery into it is if you do not want your radio to have the power sucked out to power this, or maybe you have a crappy radio that can't power this, so then you would power it. And then over on the other side, you have a USB-C connector and you use that for firmware updates if you want to update it. And then on the bottom, if you have a really crappy radio, you can just connect this externally with this tiny little cable that they include goes in the bottom and then into your radio. But most radios have the micro port on the back because if they don't then you're not going to buy this you'll go buy the nano so down here on this little screen i'll show you close-ups as well you press in the five-way switch and then you can go through all the selections that there are you don't have to do that you can do them on the screen on your radio you can also change the colors on the back i don't know why they put that there but it looks pretty freaking cool you can change the colors to multiple different colors you pick the one you want probably a good idea for changing the color is because then you know what module this is compared to other ones if you have lots of these so the price of this baby is right up there it's not very expensive and if you are knowledgeable about these little transmitters then you know that they shoot out at different varying powers you can select the power from like 25 milliwatts all the way up to like 500 i believe it is on this one but you can go all the way up to one watt not on this one if you want the one that does one watt it's black in color this one's white obviously but the black one will do one watt and there's the price of the black one do you really need one watt of power well if you're going super far and the battery on your drone can handle going super far like a lot of battery power to get out really far then uh, one watt will get you really far we're talking miles upon miles upon miles like more than five probably more than ten you know and even more than that all right so i'm gonna unplug this and i'll just show you one in action so here let me just power on this radio welcome to open tx all right same idea as the previous drones i'm just going to plug in a battery in this one this is a little elrs flywoo firefly drone and usually every time you hear that elrs usually the drones are tiny in size because the receiver elrs is so micro tiny that's why they're popular so small drones usually have elrs and a lot of beginners start off with elrs to get into the hobby the funny thing is that elrs is the latest greatest thing and everybody's diving into it so if you go with elrs well, you're you're sort of advanced future proof all right so let me plop this down so you can see it it's very small in size like this thing is like ridiculously small and take my little radio over here and it should be connected because i have my module on the back all set to go there we go and put it in the proper mode oh that's not my mode switch mode. there we go all right so once again you can fly these things small tiny things you fly them indoor in the winter super powerful is there any power in that battery yeah there is Ooh, hardly any power there we go I think I have to charge that battery, but there you go, baby. <laughs> you know, I say the baby thing all the time. <laughs> These things are so much fun to fly around your house in the winter time. So that's what you need if you want to get into this hobby, baby. There we go. Oh, I tried to catch it a different way. Every time I catch them, I hit the arm switch to kill the motors. But a lot of times in these confined spaces, because there's a microphone up here and other lights around here, I smash into everything. So uh, yeah, 
So there you go. These little guys transmitters are really good if you need ELRS. So in summary, let me show you everything again really quick and tell you the prices. So you have goggles. Here we go. Prices up there. Let me get rid of that. Then we have these light three radios and one is ELRS only and the other one is standard and you can put a module on the back and nano module. So let me put that. Oh, sorry, sorry. There's the price of these up there. And then what else did we have? We had, oh, I showed that. Oh, and then we have the straps and the two straps here. So the clear colored one, the price is right there. And the one that says light radio, that's a thicker material. The price is right there. Then of course we have the case. You need that. Price is right there. And then I'll go over here. This is the little nano uh, communication transmitter. Price is right there. Then we have these really cool things. This is the last thing I showed. The Express LRS micro transmitters. And one is the 915. And the other one that I have here is the 2.4. There's also an 868. But like I said, I've never heard of it. So uh, price is up here. You can also get these in a 1 watt version. And the version of the 1 watt version is up there. That's just way more power. And then finally, I have the Meteor drone that I said it's great for flying indoors. And this thing's not very expensive. It's got brushless motors. Pretty cool. Long transmission uh, range with the video. And uh, of course, it's ELRS, so you can fly it really far. And the price for this is up there. So let me get rid of that. And the last thing I want to show you because it's so funny. This bag has got a price tag on it. Yeah. So here's the price of the bag, the tote bag. It's it's up there as well. That's hilarious. All right. So I think that's it. Uh, I don't see anything over there, over there, over there. I'm sure I missed something. Anyways, if I did, I'll show it to you in a future video. So links are below to everything I showed you here. And go check it out because it is very inexpensive if you want to get into the FPV hobby. Now, I know if you're a beginner, you're probably confused over a lot of the things I said because it's a different world, especially if you come from the camera drone hobby like DJ. DJI or Autel or Hopson or Fimi, your mindset is one way. And then when you get into the FPV world, it's like it's a different world altogether. You have to learn everything all over again. Just it's like learning how to walk all over again. But you have to walk before you can run. So yeah, you got to start someplace. So with that said, if you have any questions on anything I've shown here, just post them below and I'll get back to you. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in the future video with many more products to review and a few more FPV items. All right, bye.